Hi friends, I'm Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots here with a free SVG and a fun camp bucket tutorial. You can see it here lit up with a flashlight and here lit up with a lantern. If you'd like to make this, just stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here. Now let's just pretend you don't absolutely love this particular design. Go over to shop.rufflesandrainboots.com, type in camp and be amazed. I have bundles, I have manly designs, I have cutesy kid designs. I come, you know, I'm a little obsessed with designing for camping because our family just loves it. This is our best-selling camping bucket bundle. It can be used for t-shirts, hats, can coolers, but we have a lot of free and low-priced designs as well. Perfect for Cricut, Silhouette, Brother, and more. All right, so I'm gonna pop this into Cricut design space. I'm going to size it. Mine was about 11.375. I select everything because I want one color of permanent vinyl, hit attach, and then I hit make. So I am using a permanent vinyl. You can use Caesar, you can use Oracle. There's a ton of them out there, a ton of different colors as well. Just go ahead and choose the vinyl uh, default setting. And you can see it here. It has some small details. You can choose to um, remove those if you want, but they're not hard to weed. So you can see here, I've sped this up just a little bit so you don't have to watch me do this. But I do wanna make a couple of notes about things. Number one, you can absolutely remove that detail from the design, you don't need it. Number two, this weeds very easily because it is such a large design. So you can see I'm putting a glad press and seal as my transfer tape. It works so well for large projects. I just, permanent vinyl and large projects, I really urge you to try this little hack and you can use them a couple times. All right, so I brayer everything on or scrape it on, flip it all over and then I lose a piece right there. So I'm gonna have to go back and get that and put that on my bucket. Uh, again, you can opt to not to use those design details if you want, but it's pretty easy just to pull it off. Just use your little pick or your scraper to hold down anything that lifts. Now here's the fun part. Put your bucket against a wall or in your lap and then press on first with your hands. It's the easiest way to sort of just get it stuck in place. Then use your scraper tool uh, or even a brayer to make sure everything's down. I want to pause this for just a second because I want to show you on this D, you see those bubbles? You definitely want to work those bubbles out. It's super simple um, because it will give you the best adhesion. And then guess what? You're all done. You don't need to seal it or anything. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this? Do you like the free SVGs I have? As always, thank you for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe for more crafty fun.